The friendship I pictured between the members of the used to be One Direction is fading. Bieber apparently has a new tattoo and what is up with Netflix and Warner Brothers getting sued? Happy November you guys! I'm Maya and this is Chatterbox! The year 2015 was a sad year when the lovely Zayn Malik left One Direction. And what makes things worse was when the band parted ways. But let's not get into that. A few years have passed and Niall, Liam, Louis, Harry and Zayn are all solo artists. Recently, Zayn was in an interview with British Vogue and shared that he didn't form any friendships with his bandmates. <gasps> this hurts. It's crazy because I've always thought these guys were extremely close, which made me love them 10 times more. However, during the interview, Zayn said, always been a bit of an island. I don't like to confer with too many people. Well, that makes sense. He does seem to be that type. What really made my perspective of One Direction's friendship shatter was when Zayn said, I ain't spoke to any of them for a long time. To be honest with you, that's just the way it is. There's things that happened, there's things that said after I left. Nice things. Small things I would have never expected. What the actual... I literally have no comment. I guess we can't be gullible and think that everything was great. I still love them all though, and if they meant it when they said they will be back in 2020, I will be front and center. Justin, a tattoo? On your face? Apparently Bieber and Hailey Baldwin have matching tattoos. Celebrity tattoo artist Bang Bang spoke about it saying they each got a tattoo. Justin's tattoo is on his face and I haven't seen any photos of it. He is doing a good job laying low. The tattoo is actually pretty small and it's right above his eyebrow. And I saw the picture and it's not as bad as I thought it would be because I could barely tell it's there. It's so small and the color of the writing is light enough that it's barely visible. I'm just happy he didn't get something stupid like our whole name written across his forehead because we would have a problem. Netflix new show Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is getting sued by the Satanic Temple. Yeah. The Satanic Temple filed a $50 million copyright lawsuit against Netflix and Warner Brothers, accusing them of ripping off their statue of Bahamut, which was in the series. They claim that the producers of the show is profiting their work, as in showing the Bahamut statue in like four episodes. The problem is, it looks similar to the one created by the Satanic Temple. I really hope this problem is resolved and it doesn't ruin the show because the show is the bomb. If you have any comments about Zane's comments about One Direction, Bieber's new tattoo, or the Satanic Temple suing Sabrina, comment below. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, subscribe and follow our Instagram. Give us a thumbs up and we will see you soon. I'm Maya and this is Chatterbox. What's new? We just got a glimpse of what we're getting for Christmas and apparently it's a new Deadpool movie. It's PG-13 but who cares? I would love to have Ryan Reynolds under my tree. Plus, Little Mix just dropped their new single called Told You So, and it's beautiful. Like the song makes me want to hug the crap out of all my day ones, and that's always there for me when during my heartbreak. Their song puts me in my feelings OD, and it's just a great song. I'm actually about to listen to it right now. So, catch you guys later.